Hello guys and welcome for another video with Fen and today I'm super happy and excited because I finally bought a microphone so you can enjoy a better experience watching my videos. I hated the sounds of my previous videos so hopefully it will be much better now. I also wanted to thank you all for watching and sharing my videos. I really appreciate you guys and now let's talk about heroes and how you can combine them. So first of all I'm going to explain a few basics and I think these basics are uh, requires. I don't want to tell you which arrows you should combine. I want you to understand the principles so you can do your own combination basically. So first of all, each arrow has two modes. So one is the battle and then the other one is the adventure. Adventure is pretty straightforward. Adventure is for the Z-Virus adventure and each time you level up your arrows, it will automatically upgrade your skills here. Now, in the battle mode, that's where you can actually customize your heroes and what he can do. And here I wanted to show you that each hero has three talent trees. And this talent tree is really important because it will tell you what kind of skills the hero has. And each hero has one major talent tree, which is the red one, and two secondary talent trees, that is the yellow one, and the blue one. The red talent tree will tell you what type of squad that hero prefers to lead. So for example, in this case of Regro, he is an infantry squad leader. So it is better to use only infantry with this hero. For example, Bella, she is a rider squad, so only use rider troops with Bella. One of the basics on combining heroes is like most of the time the best choice is to put the assistant of the leader having the same red trees. So if I want to put an assistant for Regro, I will choose automatically an infantry squad hero type like Charlie, like Added. You can use also Tom. There's many infantry heroes that you can use to combine them. What you should not do, for example, is use Bella as a rider squad and then put Tom as assistant because it doesn't make sense. Tom has a lot of skills for infantry so it doesn't make any sense to put him with a rider squad type. So there are five major talent trees or, or red talent tree. You've got infantry squad, rider squad, range squad, then you've got overall. Overall hero is mixed troop type hero and then you have um, let's see Liam. Liam is a leader type hero so leader type hero is mainly for rally. Usually it's not good to put a leader tree on a hero if you don't do any rally with this hero. For example with um, Liam I would use the skill talent tree if I use him on the battlefield. Okay and then if I go back to Regro so we've got two other talent trees and these two talent trees will tell you the specification of the hero. It will tell you what it's best suited for and in what kind of situation you, you can use him. For example, as you can see, Regro has a defense talent tree, so that means he is really good for defending. And then the other talent tree he has is Garrison, so it's best suited for Garrison. However, you can still use him on the battlefield if you use him on defense talent tree. And these talent tree will also tell you what kind of bonus you will have on his skill. Like for example, you see him, he has Garrison talent tree, so you will find on one of his skills he can increase infantry squad HP by to 11% in garrison. Also wanted to mention it's not because another hero has a different red talent tree that you cannot combine them together. There's a few exceptions like for example you can use Tom with Martin and you can do that because the skills of Martin can improve the capabilities of Tom. Let's say if you check Martin's skills you'll see it increase the healing effect and it also increase the defense which is really good on an infantry squad and Tom has actually actually a healing factor so these two will go will go well together and it's the same with Cynthia so let's see Cynthia she's a rider squad type hero but you can put her with Akemi for example because her first skill will reduce the traveling speed which will increase the damage of Akemi so if I check here increase damage dealt to slow target by 16% so as you can see Akemi will do more damage if you put her with Cynthia. But Cynthia has to be first. When you combine heroes, it's also very important to check the first skill of your hero. As I said with Cynthia, Cynthia will reduce the traveling speed, but other heroes will improve your damage. For example, Bella, 
she will increase the damage dealt by 15% for 3 seconds. That means the skill of the assistant will have that increased damage bonuses. You need to check the first skill of each heroes and then based on that you can determine which heroes you have to put as a leader and not as assistant. So Bella, you will always need to put Bella as leader of your squad because she has the increased damage dealt buff and Lee is the same. Lee you'll see you got a debuff of attack defense and hp so if you debuff the defense and the hp of the targeted squad you will increase your damage so lee has to be as well leader and you can also check the area of damage of your first skill so you'll see lee has fan shape area in front of him so that means it is better to put him with a hero that has exactly the same fan shape area in front so it is better to put him either with charlie so charlie you can see fan shape area again akemi you'll see fan shape area as well and Luis has also area damage skill so it's all these small things that you need to pay attention so in conclusion you need to check what red talent tree your hero has and then what skills the hero have and how you can combine the two sets of skills and also pay a lot of attention on the first skill because the first skill has the most impact so make sure your first skills will have a synergy between your two assistants so that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel it really helped my channel to grow and to help other players to play better i also wanted to say that i'm planning to do another sets of video explaining each heroes in detail and all the different skills as well as how you can combine each specific hero that i'm going to talk about so if you want to have more information stay on the channel and then on the next few weeks i'll have a lot of videos about all the different heroes to help you improve your skills in this game so i wish you a really good day or a good evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you for the next video bye